This is my dog. Say hello to my dog. His name is Zach. He's about, uh, God, 14 now? He's an old dog. Anyway, uh, there's my girlfriend again. What does she want? All right, hold on. Let me line up the camera. Oh, man. Hold on. Backwards. There we go. You can go ahead and pass by. All right. Okay. Hi. Now we're in the small foyer area of my house. Where the trash cans are. I'll move this camera slightly. Hi. Here I am again. Do you like I'm just going to leave all this stuff in there? I'm not going to edit this thing at all. Why should I? Why should I? Next question is from Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Oh, he says, hello, comma. He doesn't say hello, exclamation point, like, um... Well, someone else. No, Caitlin did. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Joe. Joseph. All right. We are in an elite class analyzing your games, and we has a question. He says, we has a questions. Cool. Did you ever read Time Cube for the things you make? Yes, I have read it, and no, I didn't make it for the things I make. Did you intend for a message or intend for the lack of a message to be the message? Both. Absolutely both. Of course it's a message. Again, I think that there's a sense that People feel like you have to have some exact thing you have to figure out, and that is, should not be the case with this sort of work. I mean, think of poetry. Poetry is not really about that, and this is a combination of all those things. I think that because it's in the game environment, though, people do want to try to figure it out. But there doesn't have to be an exact message. This is an experiential thing. Yeah, there's a message I get, and yes, there are messages you will get. I mean, there's definitely an intent behind what I was doing. Um, but it's not one specific message only. There are a variety of different meanings you can get from these things. And that's the way electronic literature best works. Electronic literature is inherently a nonlinear, multi-dimensional, um, multimedia creation. Each of those elements, the dimensions, the interactivity, the, um, the, the different uh, layering, the different media used, those are all texts. Ideally, all those texts work together, sort of. It's impossible for them to all work together perfectly. So because of that, you want to have the messy. You want to have the slight bits that don't quite fit. Think of walking through a mall. You have your own narrative. You're going to get some um, diapers, adult diapers, because you're having a problem. You're like, oh, geez, I'm leaking a lot. I need adult diapers. Great. That's your narrative. As you walk by, there are all these other narratives that briefly intersect with your narrative that make for the full experience. They're messy, they don't fit, but they're part of what we actually experience in the world. And electronic literature comes closer to recreating that than I think most things do. Because you do have all these little bits that don't quite fit. You do have things that come off of them that add to it, that are part of it, but maybe are separate, maybe are incomplete. Preaching off. We have defeated, you've defeated, oh, hey, you mentioned evidence of everything exploding. Good for you. Can you send us the pencil video again? That's what Joseph's saying here at the end. Absolutely. I will send you a link to it. I put it onto uh, YouTube, I think. So I will send you that link. I made that song in an office when I was bored. With this camera, this crappy camera that I'm pointing at right now. Um, I quite like it. I think it was quite good. All right, this trash can is starting to smell. I mean, you know, I don't know what's in there. I'm worried about what's in there right now. So I'm going to get up and good on notification.